everybody. And Steve, lovely to see you. I haven't seen you for a long time. Hello, Curly. I know. Uh, so we thought we'd get back together for our cuppa to talk about this. <laughs> Congratulations, Steve. He's got his new book out. So I thought it'd be really interesting for me to ask you a few questions about it. Is that all right? Okay. okay. I will. Um, so I thought I'd better read it before I interviewed you <laughs> and ask you questions. So um, I went on Amazon and ordered it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I've got one of those Alexa things at home in my kitchen. Oh, yeah. And I went down one morning and there's a little yellow light flashing. So I said, Alexa, what is my notification? And Alexa said, you have a new uh, delivery today. She doesn't really talk like that. You have a new delivery today. A new book by Steve McDermott will be arriving. How to be a complete and utter fuck up is what Alexa called it. Right. So my question to you, Steve, is I know this is your third edition, yes. right? Um, why have you decided to change the title to something possibly a little bit controversial or may even offend people? Yeah. Why have you done that? It's a good question. It's not like I didn't think long and hard about it, Kelly, right? So so the second edition was called How to Be a Complete and Utter Failure. So I've changed yeah. that word to a different F word, right? Well, I wanted to go after a brand new readership is the is the simple short answer. Even right. though I, I recognise that people of a certain age and a certain background uh, may be offended, maybe very offended, right? Um, and so the age group I wanted to go after, and you know, think about it, it was like 20 to 30 year olds, or maybe a tad older, maybe 20 to 40 year olds, who I'm assuming don't have as big an issue with that word, if any issue at all. Some might. Um, but I did I did a lot of research. Did you? What did you do? Yeah, I asked three people. <laughs> three? Yeah, uh, three grown up people. I asked a 30 year old, so all target market, a 28 year old and a 25 year old, what they thought the new title would be, pick that up in a bookstore or whatever, right? And they went, oh, yeah, just that cover. Really? I love it. I love it. That was my, that was my three grown up children, right? <laughs> I thought, well, if they're okay with it, then I'm okay with it, right? And so it's proved, actually, I think. Yeah, uh, I was reading that because uh, my daughter Megan, you know, we're in this. If you haven't seen any of my shows, what's this called, Curly? Oh my God, that's the chicken of doom. You got to say it like that. Doom. Doom. This is like we'll only use this word once. It's that short and for COVID, right? So most confident club things and most things I've been doing in the last few months have been, you know, chicken of doom free. Uh, anyway, my daughter Megan, looking for something to do, when all the students were going home, she volunteered to do the, you know, testing them to make sure oh, yeah. they were okay for, the for Christmas and all that. And the book, first of all, I just managed to get my hands on the first few editions of the book. So so Megan took a copy to work. So she's at Leeds Uni and a bit of downtime where they're waiting for the next load of students to turn up to ask them up, stuck up the nods and that back of them. I thought he's reading <laughs> this book, right? He didn't tell yeah. people it was a dad's book, right? And she said, the amount of people are going, is that a real book? What's it about? Can I have a look? Really? Lot? So, yeah. yeah. So, so that's I'm just being a bit stuffy, so maybe. I'm not going to apologise for offending anybody, because if you're offended, don't buy it, right? Um, <laughs> you can tell it's from your show, everybody, can't you? <laughs> and why did I re want to reach, and I think the other thing I would say on the back of that, Curly, is why did I want to reach that maybe slightly younger profile is because I, uh, all the ideas in the book, you know, to sum up the book, and there's a lot, it covers a lot, because it's got three yeah. new steps. So the third edition, if you read the book before, there's some new stuff, people, and, and all the chapters have been updated as well and some new ideas, but there's three brand new steps. So it's now uh, 47 and a half steps to lasting under achievement, right? But most of the ideas cover, if you wanted to put it in a nutshell, on the back it says, you know, personal development, which section would it be in? Personal development. And I think that age group, quite a lot of them have not been exposed to the ideas that me and you are really familiar with. And yeah, using that's true. With, you know, yeah. on the workshop when we do a presentation mastery, you know, the whole notion of mm -hmm. belief is an example, right? So I wanted to expose people to these ideas that just work. And I think they're even more relevant as it happens. I mean, the book was written just before Chicken and Doom turned up. I think they're even more relevant and useful now for young people who I think yeah. have got the biggest challenge of all. I would agree, yes. So in terms of employment, education, opportunities, mm. the future. Uh, and so I'm I'm really pleased that I changed the title to that because I think that might help them pick it up and help them with the challenges ahead. Brilliant. So thanks for that, Steve. I think we'll leave it there and we'll have a little chat next time. So okay. for now, bye, everybody. I'll see you.